Hey everyone, Alex Camilio here, and this week I wanted to bring you the three takeaways from the last three huge events that I've been to. Um, I've been lucky enough to have the opportunity to go to a few different events recently, um, spend time with some really great, incredible friends, and get to share and learn from some of the absolute top producers um, all over the world. And in doing that, there were some really, really great takeaways that I'd like to share with you. So the first is from the CRS Camp um, New England. This was in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, put on by the amazing uh, Gary Rogers and Darlene Sedano. And it was an awesome, awesome event. Top producers from all over the Northeast, just absolute rock stars. And the takeaway for me was that they all kept talking about how they put systems into their business. Now, you know me, I'm, I'm a systems guy. I'm all about systems. So it wasn't surprising that they were talking about systems. But what surprised me was that they attributed all of their success, all the success of their projects to the systems. It wasn't that it was a creative idea or that they had done it forever and, and you know the consistency is what did it or any of these other things. When it came down to it, they said, no, the success in this um, was because I put a system in place and I was able to have this work for me while I was off doing other things. And that really struck me is that what they're saying is that they need to put systems in place to be able to offload any task that they can automate um, or any task that isn't working with a buyer or seller um, about buying or selling a home. It really comes down to focusing on putting those systems in place. So I leave you with this for the, for the first takeaway. It is about effectively offloading any piece of work that you can so that you can spend the majority of your time working directly with clients. So that's takeaway number one, is about systemizing and offloading that work where you can. System, um, thing number two that I wanted to mention, the big takeaway number two, was from uh, Agent Rise Summit in Madison, Wisconsin, put on by Neil Mathweg. Now this, again, was an incredible event, and honestly, there were two too many takeaways uh, for me to share it with you. I could do three videos on just that event. But the one that kept surfacing over and over again was that you need to be personal in your marketing. I'm going to say that again. You need to be personal in your marketing. It seems like the further and further we go toward technology, um, the more people are tuning out any sort of advertisements. In fact, anything that even looks like an advertisement. So what that tells me is that we need to sort of rethink everything we know or have been taught about marketing in the last 10 or 20 years because it's really focused on being you know glossy and pretty and fancy and beautiful and things that look like ads what we're finding though is that things that feel personal um, are welcomed especially when they're helpful and i'll give you an example for a long time, we have sent uh, bulk email campaigns, and many times those campaigns have had some sort of banner or image or something at the top. Well, that just screams this is an advertising or a marketing email. So we've started testing sending emails without all of the fancy um, imagery and all that sort of stuff, just very uh, text-based versions, and they seem to be going very well. We're doing some more um, A-B testing before uh, the very last set gets you know, changed over, but from everything we're seeing, it makes total sense. So what I can leave you with is this. The best marketing we're seeing these days is absolutely the personal marketing. Something that feels personal, looks personal, looks like you did it um, and sent it to them, especially if, ha if it has some sort of value. So that's takeaway number two. Now, the third takeaway, now this was from NAR San Francisco, uh, and this is, uh, I've been going to this event for 10 years, it never disappoints, it is an incredible, incredible event, and there were a 
bunch of amazing takeaways. But there was one takeaway that really stood out for me, and this was in a presentation that another couple of really, really good friends put on, um, Paula Montofer and Maura uh, Carey Neal. Um, they put on a, a leadership class, and this was, it was just a stellar, interactive, awesome leadership course. Uh, but one of the things that, that they talked about, and one thing that, that stood out to me, um, and you'll, you'll see why, is they talked about how there are always, for every meeting, there's actually three meetings. There's the meeting that you go to, the actual scheduled meeting, but there's also the meeting beforehand in the hall and the meeting afterward in the hall. And many times that meeting before and that meeting after, well, they're more important than the scheduled meeting itself. So I got to thinking about this, and that by itself has a, a pretty big impact on anyone's business in terms of making sure that you're spending that time before and after the meeting. But what, what got me thinking was I started going, hmm, it really is always m more to do with the work beforehand and afterward. Um, and a quick example is a, a listing or a buyer presentation. We'll use a listing presentation in this case. Is it the listing presentation itself that does the deal that makes the sale for you? Or is it all the work that you did up to that listing presentation, positioning yourself, and then all the work that you do following up after it um, that really makes the difference? To me, it's always the before and the after. Now, having a good presentation, it never hurts. Um, it's always going to help. But in reality, it's all the work that you're doing, preparing for it, and then all of the work that you're doing afterward. So what I can say is that make sure you're putting in that work beforehand and you're putting in that work afterward to make the most of the activity that you're focusing on because the work before and the work after are truly what makes any activity pay off. So those have been the three takeaways um, from the last three events from CRS Camp, from the Agent Rise Summit in Madison, Wisconsin, and from NAR San Francisco. They have been incredible events. Thank you to everyone um, who was there, who got involved, who helped put on the events. I really appreciate you and what you do. So thank you so much. Uh, this has been Alex Camilio, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle with AgentInnerCircle.com. Signing out.